coach, the best coach in Singapore for rollerblading to teach us as a group. Uh, and if I bought the most expensive rollerblade, two hundred dollars. I never bought so expensive a shoe, two hundred dollars. So with the, all the helmet and everything, I know if I fall, I will what? No, if I fall, what will happen? No, if I fall, what will happen? <laughs> Probably I'll be paralyzed. Okay. Yet I want to try out. So every time I go and put on all this, I pray. God, please send your guardian angels to protect me. Do you think my guardian angel protects me? My group of friends, everyone fall, fitter than me. Except me. And I can go very fast, you know. And I cannot stop. <laughs> I don't know how to break. <laughs> Dangerous there. <laughs> so I must look. If I want to stop, I must look for playing. Gradually, slow down, slow down until it stops. <laughs> There's only one time that I fell. And that was when I was not paying attention. On a, I thought it was flat slope. I always go at night because then nobody is around. Huh? In Bishan Park. Okay. When nobody is around, so easy lah. Since I cannot break uh, if <laughs> if I if I roll a blade and someone in front of me, hey hey hey, move up, move up, move up. Uh, <laughs> so, so, my guardian angel protects me, and I'm I'm a lousy driver also. Yeah. When I drive, uh, my garden angel is on third alert. <laughs> when I, because I like to see things okay, as I drive. Ah, oh, okay. Ah, my garden angel is, when I get to heaven, oh, my garden angel is, you, ah, you, ah, David, ah, terrible. Every time you keep me alert. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> so, how many garden angels do you think I have? I think more than one or <coughs> no more than one because have to because you notice uh, like like coming to a AUP do we have a lot of problems yeah Mount Mount Turoboto what 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 erupt okay then you go you guys have to go to Bagyo before that I have this liver I have to go up there to for two three weeks then, on Friday, when I'm supposed to do the, what was that? Emphasis, huh? What emphasis? I got okay. diarrhea. Okay. I got diarrhea twice, you know. Yeah. So, I know God is taking care. Despite of all these troubles. Everywhere, every time I go and do something important, Satan is always there. But do I have to be afraid? No. no. I learned to, yes sir, yes sir, yes sir, just go. Okay. Mm. And God will open ways that I'm surprised what he does. Mm. Amen. Amen. So, all of you, experience this. If you don't know your garden angels, that means you're not doing, not doing what? Jerry. If you don't know your guardian angels means you don't know you're not doing anything that is dangerous to Satan. Every one of us has guardian angels. But whether the guardian angels sit there, sleep, ah yeah, cherry, never mind lah. She will she will not cause trouble lah. <laughs> huh? Guardian angels. Is it in the Bible? Pastor, Pastor. Guardian angel is it in the Bible? Yeah. Where, where, where? Huh? You know, whole heaven, uh, all the angels are here to help us. So, do you think you have a guardian angel? Yeah. Of course, you have a guardian angel. You know how powerful Satan is now. How powerful is Satan? Very powerful. 
If without the guardian angels, there's no way you can survive doing God's work. So, so, <coughs> how many good angels versus bad angels? Two good angels, one bad angels. And how many God's people versus the world? There are seven billion people in the world. How many are on God's side? Are you on God's side? Raise your hand if you are on God's side. Are you sure? How many of you think you are gone on God's side? <laughs> Those who didn't Okay. <clears throat> Important. If you still don't know whether you are on God's side, you'll be in trouble. How, how easy is it to be on God's side? Easy. <laughs> Remember? Oh, oh. Oh. The cable car. Always remember the cable car. It's easy. Even rollerblading, I don't fall. Is it easy or not? Is it easy for, for a person not to, beginner uh, not to fall or not? How many of you rollerblade before? Ah, easy not to fall or not? Very easy to fall. And yet, one, two years, I think. Never fall. And somehow I'm fat. Okay. In Matthew chapter 18, verse 10, it says, Take heed that ye despise not one of these little ones. For I say unto you, that in heaven there are angels who will always be full the face of my Father which is in heaven. So mm. even the little ones have angels in heaven. Yeah. On God's side, there's always a guardian angels. There's 7 billion people, but God is protecting God's people, which is minority. Yeah. The seven stars are the angels of the seven churches. Okay. So God, so at that point of time when Jesus comes, He sent out His angels to look for you, look for you, look for you, look for those who are ready. And those who are dead will resurrect. And hold their hands, bring them to bring them to where? Hold your hand and bring you to where? Hold your hand and brings you to where? No la. <laughs> that time you are you may be in the mountains, he look for you. Cecilia, come, take my hand. I bring you to heaven. No, not yet. Bring to Jesus in the clouds. Good or not? Good. That time you can talk to your garden angel. Aya, what happened? Ah? Can you tell me how you protect me? Mm, things like this. Okay? And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet. And they shall gather together his elect from four wings from one end of heaven to the other. This will be a glorious event. So three final glorious events. Number one, sun will, sun will darken. Moon will be darkened. Stars will fall. Whole elements will be shaken. Then from the east, Jesus will come. God the Father, God the Son, all the whole angels there's silence in heaven for half an hour, 15 days. So how long does it take for heaven to come? It takes, it takes us to go to heaven seven days. How long does it take for heaven to come to us? Huh? It didn't say it can be instantaneous. But at least you can see from east to west, right? It comes from a cloud, so it's not so quick. But at least it's not, it's not very long. Mm. But Mrs. White did say, how long does it take to get to heaven? Seven, Seven days. days. So there's half an hour silent in heaven. 
minus seven left leave how many days? Eight days. So what happened during the eight days? No, plates longer. Anyway, think about it. Theology student, ask your past, ask your lecturer, weapon to the balance, eight days. Jesus revealed to his disciple fourteen end time signs. What are they again? First three sorrows, false cries, wars, and rumors of war, famine, pestilence, earthquakes, four difficult trials, the second set, persecution and death, offended, betrayed, and hatred, false prophets, iniquity shall abound due to lack, lack of. Then four beginning of the end, the gospel shall be preached unto the whole world, as a witness, the National Sunday Law comes, the last, seven last plague, and Christ will impersonate, no, not Christ, Satan, Satan will impersonate Christ. Then three final glorious event. Where will you be by then? Where will you be by then? Where will you be? Which, which in the mountains, which, which plague? Ah, before the, that means National Sunday Law, you will be in the mountains. I, I have a question. Yes. Um, during the Sunday Law, we go to the mountains and then we experience the plagues. And then the impersonation of Christ or Satan will go. Once a weekend fall, I say, but now my question is, will those who are, who are in the cities who didn't go to the mountains, can they be saved? Because you're not obedient. God says you run to the mountains. Like God tells Lord, you go to the mountains. Lord says, oh, I will die there. Right? Oh, there's a little, little city called what? Uh? Zohar. Zohar. In, 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 in Philippines, is what? Little city in where I am, uh, Mock Lake. <laughs> So, yeah. So there's a little city nearby. Can I go there? Hey, what is that little city nearby? No, no, no. Here, here, here. Just New down the New <laughs> New Valley. Got shopping la. Okay, easier life la. Can I go there? Not so sinful la. Not like Manila. Huh? Can I run there? Uh, the angel say, okay, you go there. When you go there, I will rain. Fire and brainstorm to Manila. Okay. So, where will we be? Already in the mountains? Not long after National Sunday Law. Then the seven last plague will fall. So, when we are in the mountains, do we know anything going on in the, in the world? Don't know. So, that's why this, this signs of the sun, moon, and stars will help us to understand. Hey, okay, we are the soon Jesus will come because sec next Jesus comes already. Another question. In the night, uh, sun, the sun will light. Hey, are the dreams? The youth, it was uh, prophesied in Joel that the youth will dream, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Is it still, is it still available tonight? The youth will dream. So? Where is Lorna? Before I became an Adventist, maybe uh, four years ago, I always had dreams that the sun would go black and then the stars fell. Even my brother, he had a dream that it was there were sounds in the sky. Okay. I don't know, but that was me four years ago. I was going to put it two years ago, so I'm a two years Okay. Good. So your mm. question is? Is it still applicable? Of course it's applicable. At that point of time, when troubles, God will have to... God doesn't use the church anymore. There's no church, right, Pastor? Cannot buy, cannot sell, there's no church. God will deal with you directly. So He will give you dreams, He will give you visions, He will talk to you directly, He will talk to you through the Bible. He will impress upon you. Yes? Lorna left already.
Just now I say Lorna has a lot of dreams. Lorna, you know who's Lorna? Lorna. Okay, anyway, how many of you have dreams? How many of you have visions? Amy, vision. The rest of you, nothing. Blank. Impressions you have. Okay. Want to share yours? Okay. What was the dream? So, uh, so each one of us, God will give us dreams. God wants to protect us, wants to guide us. He will give us dreams, He will give us visions uh, to lead us in the right path. But be careful, those dreams, those visions, whether it is from God or from Satan, it's very important. Yeah? So the three glorious events, the last one is... Those who are saved, those who are dead in Christ, will be resurrected, get caught up to meet Jesus in the air. And then together, we will go to heaven. Yeah. Amen? Amen? Let's uh, look at this. You. Look at your eyes. Look at them. Speckled. Colorful. Each one unique. And I created every one of them. I created everything. The universe. And you. I gave you your personality.
cut yourself off from me. And although you're still alive, you are slowly dying. So you look for other things. To fill the void. But nothing works. Faster. And it separates us more and more. What are you searching for? I don't want you to die. I created you, not to be destroyed, but to know me. So I became one of you, a fragile creation. I was tempted, but I never sinned. I came to save you. You have so many sins, and they have a cost. Someone has to die. You or me. So I took on your sin. And traded my life for yours. And I died in your place. Because I love you. That... from the dead. I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am Jesus. I'm not here to condemn you. I came to bring you back to life. Rely on me. I will forgive you. And give you eternal life. I love you. I did all of this to have a relationship with you. Will you follow me? Will you follow Jesus? Yes. Jesus gave us the 14 signs to tell us uh, what will happen from his time to the end in very accurate very accurately, yeah? one after another. Matthew 24, sometimes we don't study this in sequence, but it's actually sequential of Jesus coming. So if you have difficulty sharing Revelation, Matthew 24 is uh, easy to share on what will happen to this world. So study this. Huh? Copyrighted? No. You can have it. Okay. But Jesus did not end at 24. 24, 25 is one whole sermon. We are more interested in science. But Jesus is more interested in are you ready? So pre five preparations needed through five parables thereafter. So, you know, you studied before? Parable number one is what? Ten virgins. Fig tree. Fig tree. Fig tree. Fig tree. It means? It means bad fruit. No, you, you know the time the, of the season. Time of the seasons. That means you must know, study your prophecy to know whether Jesus is coming soon. So those who study will move on to the second parable. Those who don't want to study will be left. And they will, like he says, like Noah's time, they will drink, they will party, they will marry, and so on. And then the 
the time of the end comes, they get shocked. They're not prepared. Okay. Second parable is not yet. Good servant. Good and good and wise and faithful. Faithful and wise servant versus evil servant. So what are the difference? What are the difference? What are the difference? Verse 45. Who then is faithful and wise servant, whom his Lord had made a ruler over his household, to give them meat in due season? What does that mean? That means God's worker gives meat in due season. What is meat? Food. Food in due seasons. That means you are preaching, you are sharing timely messages to the people. So those who think that Jesus is not coming so soon, what will happen? They are called the... They are called the... Evil servant. How many of you want to be evil servant? What does evil servant do? According to this prophecy? Persecute the good servant, the faithful and good servant. Hey, stop preaching about second coming. Jesus hasn't come 2,000 years. Why are you preaching? Don't disturb the, 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 the everything. There's so much evil already going on. Why you go and create more problem? Persecuting. Because they don't want Jesus to come so soon, right? Do you want Jesus to come soon? Yes. Young people, do you want Jesus to come soon? Yes. What about tomorrow? Are you ready? Yes. Huh? Amen. Amen. Only one. <laughs> I saw one sleeping. <laughs> uh. So, the evil servant don't care. So they went and joined the first group who go and meet and marry and uh, happy, happy, happy. Eh? So, which group went into the third parable? The one that is faithful and wise. Servant who give meat in due season. Went to the third. So, what is the third parable? We all know about the third parable. Huh? The ten virgins. So again, it's two groups. What is the difference between the wise and the foolish? One has extra oil, the other one does not. So, did the bridegroom delay his coming? Yes. Just like today, Jesus delayed his coming. They fell asleep. How many of them fell asleep? All of them fell asleep. You and me all fall asleep. Look warm. Uh, but when the loud cry started, you wake up. Then you found some five of them. No oil. oil dried up already. Five of them still got extra oil to pour in to light up again. And th the five went into the wedding. The other five had to go and look for oil. By the time they come back to Jesus says, I don't know you. I don't know you. Terrible, huh? You come to all this way to third parable already, you know. I still don't know you because you don't have the Holy Spirit. Don't have extra portion. And this deals with extra is the latter rain. So again, it's time sensitive. So, those who went to the banquet ends up on the fourth parable. What is the fourth parable? The five, the two, and the one. The five talent go and multiply five. Two multiply two. And the one, he, he take out a whole capital. 
buried in the ground. So the one with five multiplied five. So now he has ten talents. So why did God use this parable? Use your talent and God you. you must not use, multiply. That means we all come to this earth with how many, how many talents? At least one. God did not let you born into this world with zero talent. Huh? At least one talent. Some got more, some got less. But we are supposed to multiply our talents. How long to multiply? Okay. If you have five, how long does it take to multiply five more? Businessmen are huh? easy. Yeah. One week? One year? Five years? One week. Let's say talent is also money, right? Yes. It has two, two connotations. One is money, one is talent. Service. Yeah, talent means skills. Yes. So, how difficult it is it to multiply your skills to, for God's work? Let's say, do you know how to cook? Yeah. Cook very well? Only so so. Ah. <laughs> For everyday living. For everyday living. Can you do deliciously healthy cooking? No. Divine heritage. Divine heritage. So, I was not given the talent of cooking. So, but I decided to be vegetarian and I love to eat. So, do you think I have to learn how to cook well? Yeah. So, I have to multiply that talent that I don't have. So, that's one. Huh? So, music. Ah. You really have to think. Why is God wanting us to multiply our talent? Preparing us for Heaven to replace who? Oh, in us, in the palace, you know, you are the prince and princess, replacing the fallen angels. Do you have to be very talented to be in Makahat Palace, ah, Philippine? Ah, Malakanyan Palace. Do you think you have to be very smart to know how to be get money? Yeah, you no know, ordinary people can be there, right? So in heaven, you think you can be stupid, stupid, and get into heaven? Yes or no? If God give you ten years, and you still have one talent, something is wrong, right? Correct. Stagnant. You are stagnant. You are like the one with the one talent. Don't want to multiply and think that God is terrible God. Expect, expect something that is beyond what I can do. Right? He is actually criticizing God and says, you are not fair. Why you give that one got five talent, you didn't give me five talent? Get him to work. I don't have to work. Right? He's angry with God. That's why God says, you wicked servant. Wicked servant. You are supposed to be, I give you one talent, you multiply, then I give you two more. You two more. Four more. Eight more. Multi-talented. How many, how many talent does the angel have? He can do anything. One angel can destroy how many people? Oh. Powerful. So, God is preparing you fit for heaven to replace who? Cocteau? Fallen angel. Cherry. To replace who? Oh, okay. So, work hard, huh? So, multiply. And then that talent was given to who? That one talent that God took away from Cherry. Give to who? One with ten. 
Already 10. Give one more. 11. Ah, why he give to the one who has most talent? Because he is able to multiply. If I give it to two, he can only multiply little, right? So to the ten. Ten got eleven. So is that hard work? Eh? So Bossa C got to very busy. Give you some more work. <laughs> give me a wire. <laughs> yeah, as a boss, when I see you busy, eh? Capable, huh? I give you more work. So you complain or not complain? Yo, so Ching. Negotiate. Negotiate. <laughs> yeah. So we are like that. Sometimes you say, ah oh, yeah, my hands are so full. You still want to give me work to do. Willing to accept? Yes. Yeah. Better rethink. The more lazy you are, the less God will use you. The more busy you are, the more talented you are, God will use you even more. My father used to say, when you have a very important job to do, you look at your manager and you give it the one who is the most things to do. Not the one who is nothing to do. Seems unfair, huh? but that's the way it is. Even in our work, in our business, it's the same. Then I understand. You may not understand, but I understand. Because if I give it to Cherry, Cherry, till today still have not given me my what I asked you. <laughs> uh, yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Still haven't. How many weeks ago? So, understand or not, Charity? Uh, so, that's why, that's why Elma has to look for another person to give to. Hmm. Understand, uh, Charity? Yeah. By the way, Charity is an architect waiting to get his, her license. Huh? She's actually a good ar architect, but very lazy. <laughs> 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 yes, I say tonight. <laughs> uh, tonight pass. Tomorrow night still pass. Okay. It's like somebody who's very keen to sell my books, and when I arrived, she already sold one, gave me the money. So I gave her two new sets. The moment she walked out of AUP, she sent me a message. I already sold another one. Mm. Right now, she sent me a message saying I already sold. Yes. I have five sets or six sets. Set. She's proven. The other students who say they want to help me sell, no news yet. So I will give it to her for sure. And the others are just take orders. All right. So, so like what David said, uh, the master uh, will always identify a uh, phrase. Uh, who are the capable and efficient like workers? Uh, those that are lazy, just put them one side. They will never, definitely don't multiply. So she's talk. promising, you see. Yeah. And she, she, she said five sets. Okay, good. Good, good illustration that happened this week. Okay. Yes. So you give to the one who is the most busy. God used the same system. Yeah. The most, the one who has the only one talent. And don't use that talent to multiply, will be taken away. Yeah. But 
then I was added more into the ring. So I was confused, should I take it or should I forsake it? Because I have I have to share God's message. So in the end I did it twice and through that I don't have time. The whole day it was every hour I have work. Mm. Until I sleep. I have work and then because of that my mind was very critical. It just happened this week. It was very critical. I have to think always. I have to save my time. I have to work fast. I have to walk fast to school. But then I said, maybe, maybe I cannot. So I let go of the truth. And it did not do well for me. And I am, that is my experience. I did not do well. If I, if I, if I um, compare two days ago and admire now, I was better and I have more work. Okay. Yes. Another good testimony. Yeah. God always want to enlarge our territory. Want to have us be more, more capable. So when you have uh, a lot to do, you can rope in people to help you. So from being a worker, you become a supervisor. You can become a manager. Then you can become general manager. You can become CEO. Then, yeah. And the owner, yes. So step by step, God wants to lead you, God wants to fit, fit you for heaven. Always volunteer. I mean, I was a student, right? Mm. I volunteered with two dollar rep. Right? Then they promote me to be a lecturer, right? Then they promote me to be a third year rep. Right? In other words, in charge of entire eight hundred students. Yeah. So important. So. Okay, hungry already. Ah, always schedule. Too busy there. <laughs> Pastor, you want to say something? Okay. All right. That ends today's. Oh, oh, oh heaven, heaven! Ah, the last parable. Ah, very important. No, 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 no. Must finish that one. The last one is the most important parable, which is the sheep and the goat. Someone, can we all read? King James, yeah? And ready? It's 25 verse 31. Matthew 25 verse 31 onwards. Yeah. Onwards, yeah? When, let's start together. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory and all the holy angels with him then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory and before him shall be gathered all nations and he that shall separate them one from another as the shepherd divided his sheep from the goat and he shall set the sheep on the, his right hand but the goat on his left. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come, ye be blessed of my father. Inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hunger, and ye gave me meat. I was thirsty, and ye gave me drink. I was a stranger and ye took me in, naked, and ye shall clothe me. I was sick, and ye visited me. I was in prison, and ye came unto me. Then the righteous answer, saying, Lord, when, shall we, when saw we thee, and hunger, and fed thee, a thirst, and gave ye drink, and when we saw we thee a stranger, and took thee in, or naked, and clothed thee. Or when shall we see, when unto you, the king shall answer and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, inasmuch as ye have done it unto one of the least of this my brethren, ye have done it unto me. Then he say also 
unto them on the left hand. Depart from me, ye cursed into everlasting fire. Prepare for the devil and his angels. For I was hunger, ye gave me no meat. I was thirsty, and ye gave me no drink. I was a stranger, and ye took me not in na naked, and ye clothed me not sick, and in prison. Ye visited me not. Then shall they also answer him, saying, Lord, when shall we be an hunger, a thirst, or a stranger, or naked, or sick, or in prison, and did not minister unto thee? Then say he answer them, saying, Verily I say unto you, Inasmuch as ye did not in one of the least of this, he did not to me, and there shall be go away into everlasting punishment, but the righteous into life eternal. So the fifth parable is when Jesus comes, judgment time. He divides those who those who went through the first one is what? Know the time. Second parable. Doing the God's work. The parable. You have, you, have, you have extra oil. Fourth, are you multiplying your talents? Then comes to the last. When judgment comes, when Jesus comes in all his glory. So he divides God's people. Huh? This is God's people, right? Yes. Not the world. Huh? Because the goat and the sheep are clean animals. Correct? So he divides the clean animal into two groups, the goats and the sheep. He said to the sheep, when I was hungry, you fed me, and so and so so. Then the goat, the, the sheep say, when did we do that? He says, you did to the least, you have done it to me. So the same thing, he, but on the goat side, he said, I was hungry, you did not feed me. I was naked, you did not clothe me, and so on. So the same thing, the, the, the goat says, when did we see you hungry? When did we see you? Is it the same as the one, the sheep? Yes. Yeah, but what's the difference? Same, same statement. Situation. What is the difference? They never do anything. They never do anything. They say, if I know that you are, you are Jesus, I will do. No Ah. So the, the, the sheep did it unconditionally. He did not even aware that he's doing it. He becomes part of him already. Having the character of Jesus. Remember the two things Jesus is waiting for you and me? Faith and love. Unconditional love. So this is the love. Unconditionally. You did it, you don't even know. You become Christ-like. Where else? The other one? Conditional. I will only do when I when is Jesus see looking at me, then I will do, right? I will only do if it's Jesus. And that's dangerous. The difference is very little. Unconditional love or conditional love. And God wants us to develop the unconditional love. Love your enemy. Did Jesus love all his twelve disciples? Yes? Yeah, Judas he loves very much to the end. That's what unconditional love means. Jesus was willing to die for you and me, deserving or not? Are we deserving for Jesus to die for us? No, no not at all. At the end, everybody turned against him, including the 12 disciples. Right? Peter, his closest deny him three times. If you were Jesus, would you die for Peter? Would you die for Peter? <laughs> if you were Jesus, would you die for Peter? No. Definitely not. He denied you. Rosanna, three times he denied you. 
No. That's unconditional love. Dying for your enemy. Loving your enemies. That's what Jesus expects us. Can you do it, Rosanna? Unconditional love? No way. It's always conditional. Except with the power of the Holy Spirit changing us inside out. So, I want to show you this, you expect something in return, right? Yeah. <laughs> what? I want to share something regarding the Matthew chapter 25, the last parable. As, as we could see, those people who are being considered as a goat, they, did, they didn't do anything regarding to their neighborhood as what they could stay there. Yes, the commandment is giving us a mirror to tell how sinful we are. Right? Sin of omission or doing good, right? Yeah, how terrible we are. So, unconditional love is impossible unless we have the Holy Spirit changing our heart. It's so hard, our heart. Okay? Unconditional love. Example, this trip in uh, Cavite, we visited four institutions, right? Which four? Thousand Missionary? Yes. IS? SSD. SSD? Publishing House? And? AUP. AUP. Five. Any of you convicted to do something? <laughs> Thousand Missionary, right? Some of you, raise your hand. Convicted to do something. So do it. Because that's God's conviction to you, to you and to you. I was convicted to do what? I was convicted to do what? Mm. We want to say Singapore 12 donated that. Huh? 12 Singaporeans. Yeah. <coughs> IS is an Institute of Advanced Study, and their computer system is even, even the primary school in Singapore is better. 100 times better. Yeah. So, correct or not? IT guy. AUP, I didn't see. So, there's, Rosanna, what I want to say is there are plenty of needs. 
don't use somebody else's uh, conviction to, to change their mind. Okay, understand? God convicted you, you should use your conviction to do what is needed to lead, lead it. Okay? Yeah. Singaporeans are being considered rich by Filipinos. Am I correct, Filipinos? Amen. Yes or no? Thank you. Thank yeah. you. And we come here for... Oh wait. Hold on, hold on. We come here for two weeks and we did not do any single thing. That's wrong, you know. <laughs> it's wrong. Singapore is the most wealthy country in the world. Every one of us has money, one. Yeah. No, no. We want to be a blessing to them. Yeah. Because they think so. <laughs> Definitely so. When you, when you ask him, you ask him how much in his pocket? How much you have in your pocket? Uh, zero. <laughs> That's how poor he is. Okay, Sokcheng, don't ever say you, you are poor. No, 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 here among us, we can travel all the way to Philippines for two weeks. We are not poor, okay? So, I'm, excuse me, uh, I'm lecturing my Singapore friends. <laughs> So don't ever, when we go around, we see a lot of problems. Yeah. There's not, no such thing as no problems. Yeah. Even in Singapore, there are problems. Yeah. But are you there to help? Are you the goat or the sheep? Yeah. That's what it means. Judgment time comes. Are you the goat or are you the sheep? Sheep love unconditionally. When see troubles, they will help. Okay? Goat thinks about my interest first. Should I help? Should I not help? Am I helping people? People will know, or am I uh, doing it for, uh, for the namesake, for Jesus to know me, to put me on the book, good books, or whatever? So, there are many needs in this world, wherever there is. But Holy Spirit will convict you of what to help. So two weeks already. Today, tomorrow is our last day. Right? Day after is your last day. Today is your last day. So have you found any needs that you want to help? I do microfinance in Philippines. Yeah. I travel. I do microfinance in Philippines, called Shine. Shine Philippine Shine, uh, and I visit the homes of those who needs money. They are also only asking for five thousand peso. Yeah, my loan, the loan that I give out is five thousand peso. That's how much, yeah. One hundred and twenty Singapore dollars. Yeah. 120 Singapore dollars and they need 16 weeks to pay me back. You see how poor compared with you? Yeah, more than that. Okay, understand? So Philippines has a lot of needs, am I correct? The, the theology students sitting next to you have to work how many hours? Have to work how many hours to make ends meet? How many hours you have to work to make ends meet, to pay for your tuition, your food? And uh, 40 hours a week. 40 hours a week. 40 I, I work about uh, <coughs> 10 to plus hours because I only work in houses, so I don't have houses. So I work in the rent. Okay, how many hours a week you have to work beside your study? 12 hours. Huh? 12 hours. A week. A week. 
Okay. How many of you, when you study, work, have to work for 12 hours? You. Okay. Yeah. In Mountain View College, many students have to work one year and study one year. So, may God be with you all. Pray. Pray in twos. After that, we can have sumptuous lunch. <laughs>